When we talk about community and organizational leadership in the context of um, our students and what we want them to experience, we're talking about uh, a lifelong pursuit. Uh, it's not only building the knowledge um, that they might need for specific types of jobs, but it's also uh, to be involved civically uh, and to be focused on what it means to give back to their communities and what that looks like. With the support of Community Rising, we've been able to build out the new program. We have run a test of the first course, LS100, this semester, and four different faculty have been able to develop curricula to use in the program. What we're trying to do is we're trying to bring together the environmental scientists, uh, we're trying to bring together folks from business, uh, the criminal justice professor, uh, the theologian and the philosopher, and we're combining them to really uh, have a deep conversation about what it means to lead in various disciplines, what leadership looks like, what problems are arising in our world, uh, and what solutions can be uh, developed uh, and uh, in response to that. And I think that's a big part of it. So uh, another great byproduct of that is being able to kind of uh, you know, have conversations that you might not have conversations with with one professor alone when you have a mixture of professors coming together and having conversations about specific areas uh, that are really important to, uh, to leadership and developing leadership skills. One of the unique things about this program is for almost every class we have mentors coming in from the community to meet with students to talk about how they lead in their areas and in their roles and to introduce them to different professional experiences. And the idea behind um, this notion of community-based leadership um, is really central to, to students' success in the future. I often tell students that uh, they may or may not be uh, identified as leaders in their community, but they're certainly likely to become leaders in some context, uh, some way, shape, or form down the road. Uh, whether it's in their religious community, whether it's as part of their job, uh, whether it's serving as a volunteer firefighter, uh, whether it's serving on city council, whether it's working with particular uh, agencies in their community, uh, they're likely to use those skill sets somewhere down the road. And one of the things that our programs have been able to do uh, and continue to do is to, to help those students do that. With continued support from Community Rising, we will be able to actually provide paid internship opportunities for every senior. This really evens the playing field for our students, many of whom can't afford to leave a job in order to do an unpaid internship, and they actually need to figure out how to do both. If they are paid to do their internship, they're being reimbursed for their time while having a very broad learning experience. We really encourage folks to uh, think about how they can support um, us either time, treasure, or talent, and we'll take all three. Um, we're happy to uh, take on those folks that, that want to offer their, their goodwill and their time to us and um, their talents that they have. Happy to work uh, with folks that are out there that have special skill sets that our students could benefit from. And of course, treasure. Treasure is an important component to any institution, and uh, it's important to have that financial support, but we're happy to take all three, time, treasure, and talent. Leadership takes many different forms, and our young people understand this. They are ready to step out into the world as leaders in many different ways. Community Rising helps to support this.